Welcome to the Kill Hawk channel. Today we have a 2017 Nissan Maxima. The shop has installed a new from the dealer or rebuilt from the dealer CVT transmission because those never fail. Watch and learn. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. Okay, so like I said, 17 Maxima new CVT from the dealer. We do have our Kardec Plus 3 that we're using. We're using the Nissan Consult 3 Plus R2R software, and we have our battery maintainer plugged into it. Both the Kardec Plus 3 and the maintainer are available on my website, toolhutusa.com. Links below. Watch and learn. Okay, let's get this going. I do have my Kardec Plus 3 connected. The first thing I'm going to do on this vehicle is a complete vehicle scan with the R2R software. Now, typically, on the older cars with the R2R software, this is a glitch. So when I do this scan, I'm also trying to see if this is still a glitch. It doesn't always work on the older cars, but this 17 seems to work just fine. So kind of interesting. I have updated my version of R2R software, so there's a possibility that they fix the glitch as well. But this is actually the first time that I've been able to do a full vehicle scan. So I'm going to the transmission and I've verified the calibration in the transmission control module it is a the latest version there's no update for the transmission control module and since this is a new from the dealer uh, CVT transmission it comes with a DVD so we're gonna put the DVD in and then we're gonna calibrate it. so we're gonna go to the work support and write IP characterization replacement CVT it tells you to select a file it is in my DVD drive so I'm just going to click the DVD drive I save these as well so copy them and paste them somewhere we can get them they'll come in handy someday so it tells you it's going to it wants you to match the serial number of the trans this CVT came with the trans so then the interesting part, they want the vehicle on, uh, engine off, transmission selector in reverse, and the accelerator pedal to the floor. I don't know who thought of that. but And then after you leave the key on for a couple of seconds, it wants the key off. Of course, you have to put it in park to turn it off. And then you got to turn the key back on again. And then it wants the ignition on, engine off, shifter in P, and then it uh, completes the process. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And that writes the characterization for the transmission. So there's a couple more things we need to do here. So we need to do the conform CVT fluid deterioration. This is stored in the transmission control module, and you need to uh, need to clear it out so the trans so the transmission control module knows it's got new fluid in it. So it doesn't always clear the first time. You'll see that. I was able to get it to clear. It says the 
the deterioration data will be erased. Is it okay? I choose no, and my number goes to zero, which is what you want. You want it to go to zero. Then you need to erase the learning value. This is the adaptions for the transmission. So again, uh, it gives you some criteria that it wants. The fun part is we get to do the forward clutch point learn. Again, this is a new transmission. So before you can do that, you need to get the transmission to a certain temperature. I think it's 122 or 124 degrees. Typically, I warm these up uh, with, with the scan data so I can see what's going on. And I'll put them in gear and bring up the RPMs to like 1,200, 1,300 RPMs. Just something so it's going to create some friction in the transmission and bring the fluid uh, temperature up pretty fast. In, uh, without damage anything. So, we've got our fluid getting getting warm here, and I have sped up this process. It doesn't warm up that fast, but I have sped it up so you guys didn't have to watch watch it warm up here. So now, once you got your fluid to temperature, now we can do, go do the forward clutch learning. It's a whole lot faster than just putting it in park and waiting for it to come up to temperature. So it wants the shifter in neutral, engine running, and then it puts it in drive. You tell it start, and you put it in drive. And as soon as you put it in drive, it comes up with the executing. And I've sped up that process as well. Uh, I wish there was a status bar that showed you percentage, but there's not. Anyway, after you do it in drive, you have to do it in reverse. Reverse is much faster than drive is, but it's still not super fast. So you just, uh, again, you start over, but this time instead of putting it in drive, uh, you put it in reverse. And it knows. It's pretty smart. It knows where you put the shifter. And it won't, it uh, does the clutch learn. So you'll feel the transmission judder a little bit. No big deal. It's just the transmission trying to learn the transmission control module trying to learn the values of it. So, all right, we're done there. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions or comments down below. Have a great day.